Number 24. Suppose a pilot flies 40 kilometers in a direction 60 degrees north of east, and then flies 30 kilometers in a direction 15 degrees north of east, as shown in figure 3.61. Find her total distance r from the starting point and the direction theta in a straight line path. All right, so basically the structure of this problem is that they're, gonna, they're giving you two vectors. I'll call this 40 kilometer vector vector a and this 30 kilometer vector b. And what we're trying to do is, given those two vectors, we're trying to find her resultant vector and the angle. So in order to solve this particular problem, basically what we have to do is sum up the components of the vector A and vector B so that we can find the components of the resultant. And then we can find the uh, resultant vector from those uh, resultant component vectors. So let's set up a component table. Now, component table simply is just your x components and your y components of every vector in your problem. So let me call this vector a, vector b, and when I sum those two together, I will get my resultant vector components. Okay, components meaning the x component and the y component. Great. So first, let's work with vector a. So simply just um, let's draw a coordinate system. So we've got y axis, x axis. The uh, vector A is saying that it is at 60 degrees north of east, right? So let's draw that in our uh, graph here. So that looks like it would be approximately, right, 60 degrees north of east. Here's east, here's north. The magnitude of that uh, vector is 40.0 kilometers. And now what we want to do is we want to find the x and y components. So I'm going to put the x component here in uh, gold. All right, that's the x component. It's in the positive x direction, so I'm going to leave it positive. And then I want to find the positive y component here. Don't mind that it's a little off. No big deal. That's just the y, but you can see the triangle it's going to create here. Okay, so first let's work with the uh, x component here. How do I find that? Well, I know the hypotenuse of my triangle. I know this angle, and I'm looking for the side adjacent to that angle. Therefore, I'm going to use cosine. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 60 is equal to x over 40.0. And now x will simply work out to be cosine of 60 times 40. So we've got a value of 20. 20.0. 20 now plug this x value into your component table under the x component for vector a. 20. Okay, great. Now, let's take a look at the y component. Remember, you know the hypotenuse, you know this side, and we're looking for the side opposite of the 60 degree angle. Therefore, we're gonna use sine. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Sine of 60 is gonna equal y over 40.0. And now just do your cross multiplication. Sine of 60 times 40. <clears throat> you get a value of 34.6. Yep, 34.6, and these are all in kilometers. Right? I'm just gonna leave out the units for now, but just keep that in mind. Let's write it in the component table, and we're done with vector A. Now let's take a look at vector B. So draw your coordinates, Y, X, and let's highlight vector B now. Remember that's the 30 kilometer vector going back to the problem in 15 degrees north of east. All right, so now I need to draw a, um, vector at an angle of 15 degrees north of east. So what does that look like? That should look like something like that line, right? Here's the 15 degrees north of east. The magnitude of that vector will be 30.0 kilometers. And now what I'm going to do is break it up into my components. So here is the x component. Great, that looks good. So that's x. And then let's draw the y component now straight on up. And that looks like the y component. Okay, wonderful. First, let's work with the x. All right, if I want to find x, I know the hypotenuse, I know this angle, and I'm looking for the side adjacent to that angle. Therefore, I'm going to use cosine. So cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 15 is equal to the x value over 30.0. And now x will be, so cosine of 15 times 30, so 29. 29.0. Great, that's the x value. Plug it into your component table. 29.0. Now 
Now, let's go solve for y. I know the hypotenuse, I know this angle, I'm looking for the side opposite of that angle, therefore I'm going to use sine. It's opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 15 would equal the y value over 30. So just do your cross multiplication. So sine of 15 times 30 is 7.76, it looks like. And plug that value now into your component table. And we're done with those vectors. Now what we can do is we can sum these all together, okay, all the x's and then all the y's, and we're gonna get our resultant uh, components. So let's do that. So we got, in the x table, we got 20 plus 29, right? That should be 49.0. And then in the y column, we got 34.6 plus 7.76. And we get a total of 42.4, considering significant figures. 42.4. Great. Now what I can do, okay, so now what I can do is I can go right ahead and solve for my resultant vector. Remember, these are just the x and y components. This is not the uh, resultant vector itself, okay? So I can use the formula on the right-hand side. I just box it in, all right, and I can find the value. So the resultant vector, okay, will always be the square root of the sum of all of the x's squared plus the sum of all of the y components squared. So my resultant vector here will be equal to the square root of 49.0 squared plus 42.4 squared. Plug that into the calculator and let's see what we get. So we get a value second square root of 49 squared plus 42.4 squared. We get a value of 64.8. So 64.8, and that's in kilometers. So that's the magnitude, all right? So now we have to find the angle. Let me just actually draw the coordinate system for this resultant vector, all right? So let me put it down here. Here's a small little coordinate, all right? Uh, it tells us if you go back to the resultant components, we got a X component of 49 and a Y component of 42.4, right? So let's draw them in our graph. So the uh, X component, as I just mentioned was, this is not to scale by the way, this value was 49, and then it told us we had a Y component, and that component was, yeah, it's a little crooked. Let's try to, oop, what am I doing? Let's try to make that a little straighter. There we go. Thank God for autocorrect. So we got 42.4, and now the resultant vector will be just the straight line distance from the start to the end. There it is put a little arrowhead at it, and that's my R. So what I just found here, all right, represents the value of that resultant vector. Basically, my resultant formula is just a reworked Pythagorean's theorem. Now what I wanna do is I wanna solve for this angle in here. Okay, and if I wanna solve for that angle, I know this side and this side. So I know the opposite and the adjacent side. Therefore, I can use tangent, right? So tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side of the hypotenuse. So the tangent of my angle will be equal to 42.4, which is the y value over 49. And notice right above it, I basically have this particular formula that I could have used too, okay? So now let's do the math. So let's take 42.4 divided by 49, then do second tangent of that value of 0.865. And we get a value of 40.9. So theta is equal to 40 degrees, well, 40.9 degrees. Now we're almost done, guys. We just have to now give directions to this angle. So let's go back to this picture right here and tell me now, how did I measure the theta? What um, axis did I measure it relative to? I measured it relative to the east axis. Therefore, I can now state this angle over here of 40.9 being north of east. Okay, that would fully describe it. So now giving a full uh, explanation of this vector, I'm gonna write it all out right in, in this little space over here. So it's gonna be uh, the resultant vector is equal to 64.8 64 kilometers at 40.9 degrees north of east. 
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. And please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson.